Good morning, beautiful people. Um, it's like six in the morning and uh, just haven't been able to sleep. Had another kind of intense night last night, which I think most of you guys who would watch this video experience the same type of things anyway. But it was really cool. I really enjoy it, <laughs> even though it kind of uh, affects my sleep patterns. It's, it's just fascinating, the things that are happening. But I didn't get on here to talk about that. I wanted to share something really neat with you guys that just kind of came to my attention. And this is in the Bible. This is in the book of Ezekiel. And it's so evident to me. I just, you know, with the things that we know now uh, in terms of like ancient records and, and uh, you know, people who come to this planet uh, from other worlds and, and, uh, and, and everything. I just thought this was super interesting. And you can look this up your, yourself. I'm going to read along because I want to uh, share the experience of Ezekiel with you and his uh, uh, interactions with extraterrestrials because it's so clear to me. So if you want to look this up, you can. It's just in the Bible, in the book of Ezekiel, in chapter 1. And I'm going to start reading in verse 4 and just kind of break down my interpretations to you. And could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, I, I really feel like uh, there's something here. And in chapter 1, verse 4, he says, Then I looked, and behold, a whirlwind was coming out of the north, a great cloud with raging fire engulfing itself, and brightness was all around it, and radiating, radiating out of its midst like the color of amber out of the midst of the fire. Hmm. Also from within it came the likeness of four living creatures, and this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. So I interpret that as, you know, having arms and legs and head and a body, you know. Um, each one had four faces, and each one had four wings. Now, here, I think that there's been a change in the translation, and I'm going to get into that in a second here. And uh, for, for, for instance, wings to me just means that they had the power to fly. So th that's, that's more symbolic. But the four faces, I think, doesn't mean, as it explains in, in here, you, you get, I'm sure all of you know, that the Bible's been through so many translations and had intentional things changed and removed from it in the Nicene Council and uh, a lot of, even a lot since then. But I'm going to keep going. Their legs were straight and the soles of their feet were like the soles of calves' feet. They sparkled like the color of burnished bronze. Ooh. <laughs> The hands of a man were under their wings and their four sides, and each of their four, each of the four had faces and wings. Their wings touched one another. The creatures did not turn when they went, but each one went straight forward. And as for the likeness of their faces, each had the face of a man. Each of the four had the face of a lion on the right side. Each of the four had the face of an ox on the left side, and each of the four had the face of an eagle. Here's where I feel like this is a change in the translation. He says that there's four of these beings. And I don't ima I don't think that they each had four faces. I think each one had one of those faces. This is, this is my interpretation. And the reason I, I, I say this is because I, I know about beings with uh, the face of an eagle because I had a memory come up about a month to a month and a half ago of uh, my um, uh, Atlantis life, and I had a head like a head like that. Like my, I had a human body, and my head was of uh, a bird of prey type of head. So, and I've seen uh, beings like uh, with the face of an ox, kind of like a minotaur type of being. And um, what was the other one? Um, the face of a lion. <laughs> we all know who that is, right? That is uh, um, Lyrens. So that's why I think that that's a, a mistranslation or intentional change in the translation uh, in the Nicene Council or some other people who made changes in the translations later on for control. Um, 
Let's see, where was I? Okay. Thus were their faces, their wings outstretched uh, upward. Two wings of each one touched one another, and two covered their bodies. And each one went straight forward. They went wherever the spirit wanted to go, and they did not turn when they, when they went. So this is the, an interesting thing that I've heard people report about UFOs, how they change direction instantly. Uh, people have seen some say that like they can... Uh, the ones when I the ones that I've seen have just gone straight across the sky, but I've heard of people seeing them change angles instantly, like like do a, a ninety degree turn um, without changing speed or anything. Um, as for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, like the appearance of torches going back and forth among the living creatures. The fire. Uh, the fire was bright, and out of the fire went lightning, and the living creatures ran back and forth in appearance like a flashing of light. Now as I looked at the living creatures, behold, a wheel was on the earth beside each living creature with its four faces. So what do you think that wheel is? Um, the appearance of the wheels and their workings was like the color of, of beryl, which is a mineral, beryllium. Um, and all four had the same likeness. The appearance of their workings was, as it were, a wheel in the, mid in the middle of a wheel. So to me, this is their spacecraft that he's describing. Why would the all need a spacecraft? That's why I'm, I'm really convinced that these are uh, extraterrestrial beings. Because the all t is, the, is the source who is, you know, the actual God with an uppercase G, if you want to call it God. Um, when they moved, they went toward any one of four directions. Again, they changed directions instantaneously. They did not turn aside when they went. As for their rims, they were so high they were awesome, and their rims were full of eyes all around the four of them. So this right here, to me, those, those eyes would actually be the lights around the edge of the craft, the, you know, the round craft. Um, when they moved, they went toward any, oh, I already read that. Okay. When the living creatures went, the wheels went beside them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. So that just to me means that they were, they went into the craft. It's just a, you know, either ancient translation or mistranslation. Um. Wherever the spirit wanted to go, they went because there the spirit went. And the wheels were lifted up together with them, for the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. Now, I heard a gentleman who um, is a very powerful remote viewer who uh, describes, because if you go to Mount Adams in Washington state, um, the lions are, there's a portal there that the lions are protecting at the top. And that's why there's so much. Uh, you pretty much go to Mount Adams and you will have an extraterrestrial experience. It's just inevitable. Um, and he, this remote viewer, described the, the Lyrans actually, be, like the, 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 the smaller ships that they fly around in, they actually become um, connected. They're soul connected to the ship. So that made a lot of sense to me when I read that. I want to read that one again. Wherever the spirit wanted to go, they went because there the spirit went, and the wheels were lifted together with them. For the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. When those went, these went. When those stood, these stood. And when those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up together with them. For the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. So, yeah, uh, go ahead and read that. You, you know, just that's chapter one in the book of Ezekiel in the Bible. Uh, and I just started at verse four and it's very powerful. Uh, to me, it's very evident on uh, what he's describing. Um, but anyway, so let me know what your thoughts are. I think that it's pretty clear. <laughs> I think the evidence is there. So um have yourselves a beautiful day. Uh, love and light to all of you. Thank you guys for your beautiful comments and your, your kind words. And have a great day. Bye.